we have Anna McNulty! Hey guys! Woo! Anna is a cheerleader and self-talk contortionist that has over 17 million followers on social media. Now this is gonna be a little bit different because Anna is actually very flexible. So we're gonna do some extreme stretching compared to our usual open up episodes. I'm excited, I love stretching. <laughs> so this should be fun. We're gonna start a little warm up, so just okay. relax. We're gonna do like some neck rolls. Do you consider yourself more like of a cheerleader or more of a contortionist? I consider myself more of a contortionist. I feel like that's more like my thing, like the extreme flexibility. Mm -hmm. I did do cheer for a long time, but if I had to choose between the two, I'd say more contortion. How long have you been doing cheer? So I started cheer when I was 10 years old, like 11 years. Wow. So quite a while. That that's a long time. time. Oh, wow. <laughs> I like how you have like a good warm up. Usually I just get into the <laughs> really like deep stretches. So I like this. So how did you like learn contortion? Basically from cheerleading. That's how I got into it from being a flyer and doing like the body positions in the air. So you do like bow and arrow mm -hmm. and like needle and stuff mm -hmm. in the air. So I kind of got into contortion that way. Seeing oh. it on Instagram and stuff. Are you like naturally flexible? No. So when I started, I like couldn't do like any splits or middle splits but yeah. once I started stretching it did come pretty quickly to me but I did have to stretch to get to like how flexible I am right now hands together and then be kind of apart I feel like you'll get it easier oh I see go down you want to try to like tap the floor a little oh yeah see one thing that's like not super flexible for me is my arms oh do you have like hyper extended elbows I don't think my so arm. How do yours yeah. hyper? No, mine They're don't just not do that. Like, oh, that's yeah. so interesting. Mine are like normal. See, I'd say you're probably more like naturally bendy than I am then because oh like God. mine don't like bend like that. I have more like bendy like legs and like back, but my arms are pretty mm. normal, I think. That's so interesting because all the rhythmic gymnasts that I'm friends with, they're all like very like hyperextended like really elbows, maybe yeah. it's the way that you train maybe maybe like whatever we do it just turns just all the tossing everything <laughs> hyperextended maybe. let's try mountain to pie you call this mountain that's what I, call this a mountain. I like that name better because it looks like a mountain yeah we're Down just gonna up. go one two just to like warm up the body. I know you said like you weren't naturally flexible do you remember how long it took you to get into splits? I don't remember exactly how long. I want to say it was probably a few months. It definitely wasn't oh, wow. like a year, but I do remember like stretching for a while to like get the basics. And then like once I kind of mm -hmm. got the basics, I kind of got used to stretching and it mm -hmm. came quicker. So like getting into the split part was like the harder part and then it was yeah. like more like an exponential. Yeah, like once I got my oh, splits, nice. I'd say I got my needle like pretty quickly because mm -hmm. my back has always been pretty flexible, but I'd say mm -hmm. I had to work for like leg flexibility more. Mm -hmm. Were you able to do like chest stands? Yeah, so like I remember when I was a kid, I used to do like chest stands for fun. So like things like that uh -huh. that are like back Back flexibility were kind of more natural oh, for me. Oh, that's so interesting. Because mine was like, I had back flexibility as a kid. Yeah. But not the legs. Yeah, same here. And then, yeah, I have to work for that. Which Maybe. is funny, because I'd say my legs are more bendy than my back now. But, like, I don't know how that happened. I feel like you have a limit, right? Once you're like, yeah, like good. once your head is touching your legs, it kind of stops you from mm -hmm. bending anymore. Yeah, and then split, you can have like until I guess your body blocks yeah, you. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, I wanted, okay, so I know you said your shoulders are a little more on the stiffer side yes, compared to your other body parts. I think I know what we're doing. Are we doing the rope circles? Yeah, so in rhythmic, we start from twos okay. as a kid, right? And then we're gonna get it into fours. And this gets like a little harder, but you wanna go both at the same time. That's probably why your arms are like going backwards maybe. That's true. Like yeah, I, I never do that. As a kid. Really? Do you wanna try it? Do you wanna I'll start with a two? Yeah, cause yeah. I don't know how good I'm gonna be at this one. So let's see. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's easy. So then you go like this. Yeah. We'll see. I don't know if I'm gonna get this. I have to bend oh, my arms. Yeah. Yeah, I can't. I can't do this one. Let's try. Like threes. I said, my arms aren't very. Bendy. Yeah, this is oh, definitely like my max. We found something. Anna's not flexible. Yes, yeah, my arms. In her shoulders. Are, yes. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. I thought like your whole body was like. My legs and back like, are like pretty bendy. Oh. So, I never stretch my shoulders really okay. besides like just like basic like these kind of stretches. Mm -hmm. Is it like not really needed for a tear probably? No, it's yeah. really not. Like the most you do with your shoulders is like going like this for a needle mm -hmm. in here. Same with contortion, like back bends and stuff. You don't really use your shoulders that much. I know you said your shoulders aren't that flexible, but for me, my glutes aren't flexible. Okay, well, 
like what kind so, of stretches are that? You know like pigeon stretches? Yeah, like these? Yeah, I cannot have it 90 degrees. Like look. Really? Just, ah, I can't. I think that's like hip flexibility. So anything like these or like these? Or really? Like butterfly? I like those. Oh my god. If you like lean forward, that might help you stretch it so you can get for like further into yeah. it. My knees are slowly just like, <laughs> no. <laughs> I think it's like a turnout thing for me. Yeah, I think it is a turnout. I'm surprised. I feel like you would do turnout a lot in rhythmic gymnastics because you, do, you yeah. do like turnout in ballet a lot. Oh, it's really interesting because like a lot of my like national team member friends, when we yeah. did like these stretches, anytime we did pigeon stretch, it would be so hard for us. <laughs> like really? our glutes are so tight. It was like. That's so interesting. I would just, not expect that. Oh. Is it so, like the same on both sides? Like if you do this side? Yeah, my left is even worse. Just doing 90C, like, oh my God. The, the, <laughs> the difference. I think you guys can do it better than me too. I, I've seen a lot of my friends that can do this. Yeah, I feel like I've seen a lot of people do this too that don't do like full splits. Like I feel like this is easier than splits. So if you see me force me to do this, I'll be in pain. <laughs> <laughs> do you actually like stretch every day? Um, I do, but it's kind of more of a habit for me mm. now. Like, I'll just be like in my room and I'll do like over splits and then I won't even realize I'm doing over splits. Wow. Like, I'll be like on my phone or something. <laughs> yeah. I actually like stopped stretching after I retired for a bit. Really? Have you noticed that it's like affected your flexibility at all? Yeah. Like, especially my back. My split flexibility, not too much. If I like get back into it in a day, it'll just kind of come back for me if I just stretch for a while. Okay, yeah. But back, it it takes me a while. Yeah. It takes me a while. Yeah, stretching just kind of became a habit for me now. That's so really like, good. yeah. It's like random times in the day, I'll just do random stretches. Yeah. Are you still like continuing to improve your flexibility, or has it hit like a plateau now? I think it's still improving a bit. Like I know like my like over splits and stuff now are definitely easier than mm -hmm. they were a few years ago. I think I've just been doing them more often. But I feel like there's also a point, like we were saying, that you just can't go further. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like if you're doing a back bend and your head hits your legs, you mm -hmm. can't really keep going. Yeah. <laughs> so some things have kind of reached the max, but I feel like things are still getting easier. And like handstands have been got getting like easier and stuff. So. I've definitely hit like a plateau where like I'm like I know I cannot go more. I've been doing. Dude, maybe you can though. Maybe you maybe just need to like focus maybe, on one thing. Maybe I see. just need to watch Anna's videos more often and do them. <laughs> like my last few years of like being a rhythmic gymnast, like my split didn't really improve that much. Maybe it was like just like a hair. But were you stretching every day? Then yes. <laughs> okay. Then yes I was. No, no, no. <laughs> From what I've seen, your flexibility is like still amazing. It's really good. So I think you're good. <laughs> Thank you. I'm like just like trying to like maintain it now. I do not think I can keep going more. And I'm like okay with that as long as like I have yeah, the like your, mm -hmm. flexibility in the back still working and I can still make videos. I'm like, yeah. Okay. Okay. Because a lot of like rhythmic gymnasts, like our back gets like so stiff. Once we're like 18, a lot of the girls I talk to, they're like, oh yeah, my back's getting stiffer. What do you mean by it gets stiff? Like you just can't bend it's it as like, far or it hurts? For you, I know you don't need to stretch it and you can just yeah. test it, right? Yeah. Before me too. But then okay. once like I got older, I needed to like stretch it out a lot before okay. I could even get into a chest stand. I could like have my feet together like this really easily, like after stretching and stuff. Yeah. But now it's like I have to like stretch, stretch, stretch until I can get my legs That's through. That's interesting. Yeah. Maybe it's because if you're not stretching like consistently that it's just like you need to stretch and then you'll be like, like mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Maybe I'll, I'll, I need to challenge myself to just stretch every yeah, day. Yeah, I'd be curious to see like if you can do stuff without stretching, mm -hmm. if you like stretch every day, because then maybe you're still stretched from the day before. Maybe that's oh why I can God. just do it whenever. Anna's like stretching every day and then she's <laughs> filming every day and then she has like three stretches in one day. <laughs> so do you have like a favorite stretch you do? Like in the, the like daily stretches? I love doing over splits. Mm -hmm. like, Something I'll do like regularly is like I'll just go into an oversplit and then switch between like all the sides. Do you stretch. like feel anything? Uh, no. Like mm -hmm. unless like maybe if I get to like 270 degrees but not like painful I can just mm -hmm. kind of like feel the stretch. Yeah. Well it's so different. <laughs> if I do like a hamstring stretch mm -hmm. I kind of get what you're saying there. Oh here yeah. Like kind of that feeling but it doesn't really feel like you're pulling oh, rubber band. It just, so I can just kind of feel it. I don't know. Wow. Hard to describe. <laughs> I needed this actually. I think my favorite is just like this. Middle splits? 
Yeah, your mental this one's like really not, good. A, not a, like I think this one's the feeling you get where like yes, it's like, yeah, I'm stretching and I can tell I'm stretching. But it's not. Yes, exactly. I can fall asleep in it. Exactly. It's like you know you're not sitting normally, mm -hmm. but it's not like it's painful. Like you're comfortable. Mm -hmm. You can feel the stretch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, awesome. it's hard to describe. This is how you feel in over splits. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm so jealous. <laughs> All right, let's do. You know, straddle throughs like like these. Oh yes, I know what you mean. Do you do those along with me? Yeah. So in rhythm, we can try it with you. Um, we okay. have a different step. Right? Okay. I'm gonna pretend like I'm like new, right? Okay. So in the beginning, like obviously you're not gonna be in a middle foot. Yeah. So you kind of climb. Okay. And then close. And then as far as I can climb. Back. Okay. That's the first step. And then we go like into like elbows. So it's like you need a little bit more. Okay. Of foot, right? Cool, yeah. Then we have the no hands. I don't know if I've tried the no hands. No hands. I kind of want to try you it. You want to try the no hands? So you go like this. Mm -hmm. You do keep your chest up. You try to, yes. You try to keep your chest up. I try to keep. Oh, I get it back with no hands is Yeah, no, get that backwards is really hard. I usually kind of cheat and use my feet <laughs> to get up. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. I think that's like a first for me. I haven't done it with no hands. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Like it's like a lot of like rhythmic like gymnasts. We do it because cool. we need a lot of like back strength yeah. too. Yeah. Cool. So seal oh, seal to arch. Oh my god. We have not stretched yet, guys. <laughs> We're stretching me, right now. Let me show you. Oh. Okay, I but find I it, it's right. helpful if your shoulders are flexible. If you go like this, it kind of forces yourself to go oh. further. If you like, oh my gosh, go like that. Yep. Yeah. See, it kind of makes you go further, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Definitely. I usually do like the one hand one, where you go here, two arms like this. So I have like. Do you have like one side of your back that's more flexible than the other? I don't think so. Oh. I, I think it's pretty equal. Interesting. Oh. But I'm not a hundred percent sure. Like I haven't tested it out. Oh good. Like, that's good. That's really good. See, it slowly gets there. Like as I'm moving my back around, surely it will get to where I want it to be. Yes, for sure. That was Stretching great. is important. Oh, this is like more of a stretch for me. But um I find I get like it's not like a stretch, but it's like kinda the blood rushes to your head. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the sounds feel so weird to me right now. How did you like start cheerleading? What got you into it? It's hard to remember because it was so long ago. I'm pretty sure I had some friends that did cheerleading. Mm -hmm. So that kind of got me into it too. And mm -hmm. then I really liked it. So I kept at it. What, what did you like about cheer? Um, mainly it was just like a sport that I enjoyed. I didn't really do any other sports growing mm -hmm. up. It was just something fun um, to do with the team. Uh, that's one. The stretching happened. Yeah, it was a calling. It was. I calling like. I get me. a headache when I'm in a back bend too long. Oh. How do you um, like, do you breathe well like that, or does your? I head do not like breathe too? well. But I'm I'm good at staying like upside down. Really, I'm better at being like. Oh, here, man. you can do upside down back bend, and I will do right oh, side my up God. back bend. Okay, tear dropping. Oh. <laughs> so there, we're like opposites. opposites. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, do you want to talk about like any misconceptions about cheer? I think the main misconception is that it's like super easy and it's not a sport because I think it's definitely a sport because it's super competitive and you have to train a lot to learn the stunts and tumbling of course. I'd say that's the it's main like one. a mix of like a lot of strength and like flexibility. Yeah. And like... Well same with rhythmic gymnastics. Like I think both of them are a sport for sure. Alright, let's do chest stand. Yeah, I just got out of the back bend because what's happened to me before is I have like broken blood vessels in my face. <gasps> Oh. Doing a back bend too long. I was like, ah, I'm just gonna go into a chest. Stand. I wonder. I wonder if I've had that happen before. I don't know. I you would have known. I had like dots all over my face, but that was a while ago. It hasn't happened recently. I literally just do this. I go. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. All my stuff are just party tricks. <laughs> After many years of training, you know what it's great for? Party tricks. Party tricks. <laughs> You want to do the zombie thing, do the zombie thing. I mean, thing. a lot of your tricks are really cool, so like, Thank like you. the helicopter. No, they, they, no, they just like the zombie walk more than anything. Just the back bend walk? That's so funny. Do Elena is going to do her chest stand. Yes, I'm very guys. excited to see it. I've been working on it. <laughs> All right. Okay. That's really good. That did not take a while. That was good. No, this feet together will take a oh, while. Oh, you want to do feet together? Yeah. There was this thing I did when I was 10 where I just did crisscross like this. And I'll just go. I know what you mean. And I'm like, yeah. Wait, how long did you do rhythmic gymnastics? I did rhythmic competitively 15 years. Oh, okay. That's a long time. Yeah. When it hit double digits, I was like, damn. <laughs> that's long. All right. 
Awesome. Yeah, that's good. There, your feet are together now. That's really good. Good job. Success. That was awesome. Woo. Woo. Really good. Thank you. All right, Anna, it's turn. Okay, I'll go. Oh. Oh wow. Yep. Do you get like the do you have a spine questions? I do get that question sometimes. I do have a spine, obviously. I wouldn't be able to walk. I think I have like an extra spine bone. Oh really? And one less pair of ribs. And that's they're like, so maybe that's why you can like bend more easily. And I was like, oh. That's so interesting. I should get an x-ray sometimes. Yeah. Now I'm interested to see. Yeah, I'm interested too. It's probably like all weird. Or something. <laughs> it's like it's a bone is jello. <laughs> I did this with my friend Heather, okay. who was like a former rhythmic gymnast too. She's very flexible. She used to be able to do a 270. This is like what I do for over split stretches usually. For splits, you want square hips. I watched Anna's video. She also talks about it. Yeah, she do want square yeah. hips. Yeah. So in cheerleading, you also want square? Yeah, like they tell you to like cross your arms to make sure your hips are square so you're not like fully mm -hmm. like opening your hips. When I was younger, I started off twisting because that's how we I did too, wanted. yeah. And then when I was 10, I got a new coach and she's like Elena you're gonna like injure your back because like we arch a lot right so yeah. if it's just like one side it's gonna be like really bad for you I usually start from my knees like on the really? edge this helps me like keep square this is how I started okay yeah over splits when I That's, figured you're the out first person square. I've ever heard say to like bend your leg yeah I bend it here and then like just lift body you'll feel a stretch <laughs> <laughs> do you ever do like back stretches in your over splits and stuff? Mm -hmm. For here, I like to just stand here and just like, this is like, like my pre-warm up. Yeah. Or pre, is it a warm up? Is it pre? No, it's a warm up. No, well, this is like a stretch. I oh, this is a stretch. <laughs> Anna says this is a stretch, mom. <laughs> So for cheerleading, yeah. did you ever get like nervous or anything? Definitely. I feel like every mm -hmm. cheerleader gets nervous right before you go on the competition mat because there's so many people on the team. Mm -hmm. You never know what's going to happen like in your stunt group. Like mm -hmm. it could just fall to the ground and you'll, you could have no control over it. Mm -hmm. Like say like a base's hand is in the wrong spot or something, then the whole stunt could collapse or a whole pyramid. Mm -hmm. So you kind of have to rely on everyone on the team mm -hmm. to like hit zero so it's very nerve-wracking before you go on mm -hmm. were you able to like ever overcome it overcome your nervousness or was mm -hmm. it like no. you're Always. just focused with the nerves just like you just got to do it and then afterwards like it's just a relief like mm -hmm. it's done so while, while you're doing your routine, like for me, okay. like right before I went on the carpet, I used to be really nervous, like around the end of my career. Yeah. But I would be like, just like, you know, telling myself I can do it, like have yeah. confidence in myself. And then I'll be in the carpet and I just forget everything. My body yes. just goes. It's the same, same with cheer. Like you get on the mat and as soon as your music starts, you're just in like autopilot. You're in the routine. zone. Yeah. But yeah. before you go on, it's very nerve wracking. Mm, yeah. yeah. So rhythmic gymnastics sounds same. like the same. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Oh. Oh. She's like relaxed and I'm like, I need to get out of this for a little bit. <laughs> Did you have like any setbacks in cheer or just throughout your contortion things? Yeah, so actually at one point during cheer, I had this weird like mental block with tumbling that I was doing back handsprings for years and I just couldn't do a back handspring. Like I was still physically able to do it, but my mind just wouldn't let me do like a standing handspring, mm -hmm. but I was still able to do harder skills like standing tucks and stuff mm -hmm. so that was kind of like one thing that was really weird but just like working with it with the coach and stuff mm -hmm. right over it but yeah i think that was the main one that i can remember mm -hmm. so the coach like helped you like <laughs> yeah you like spotted and... me to do it and stuff and like mm -hmm. over time like i got it back but it, that was just a weird one so if any of you guys have mental blocks you can get over it <laughs> mm -hmm. like talk to the coach if you have yeah. some problems and have them like help you out yeah that's a really good coach you had to be a great coach yeah. <laughs> they were like, no, yeah. do it. For me, it was like mostly at the end of my career where I got nervous. In my routines, I used to never like drop or make any big mistakes. I would be very known to like go for it. I used to have clean routines. And then at some point, I think it was because I was a national team and like everybody's so good. <laughs> yeah. And like for competitions, like it was very nerve wracking. I just lost all confidence. And we had like a mental therapist that would help national team members so i went on a call with them had a big crying session and she taught me how to gain more confidence in myself she's like elena been doing this for years you're a national team like you're in it because you deserve it and i was like oh really and i started putting like 
notes like every day after practice if there was any new techniques how to work on something i would write it so whenever i'm in the like mental state of oh no i can't do anything i don't know what i'm doing i can just go back and look at it and be like oh yeah i just need to make sure i'm doing this technique and i'll be able to do it yeah so that's really good if they had that like yeah. accessible to you like so I feel like awesome. a lot of the time it's just in our heads. Definitely, but yeah. you definitely need somebody to tell you, like, mm -hmm. it's just in your head. Like, yeah. you know it's in your head, yeah. but you need someone to tell you that. And then mm -hmm. make sure, like, you get into not just the mental side, but, like, actual, like, physical side of, like, yes. Yeah. You do this, and you do step one, step two, step three. See? You yeah. can do it, you know? Yeah. So it was very, really good advice for me because I was just... In my own head. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. All right, after I do this, I get into my back knee. So I usually do knee here, and then I kind of bend my, like a lunge. Like a lunge. Oh, that is, that is interesting. Yeah. Like that. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, yeah, like that. Usually like girls will start like, you know, like laying on the floor kind of like forward. And then we kind of like raise our body up with our hands on our knees. And then the next is like a crisscross. I don't think I've ever done this stretch. Yeah. This is a new one. Oh, really? Lots of new stretches today. Yeah, lots of new stretches. And then I do like arms to the back and try to keep my body up. This is good if you want to like... Go, whoa. Whoa. What's going on? What's going on? I just wanted to see. I've never done this position. Oh I wanted to like see what's possible on this. It's kind of a cool stretch. Look at this dude. Oh my god. Like what? <laughs> what? Do you have like a favorite trick? I know we asked like... Your favorite, favorite stretches over Favorite seats. trick? Yeah. I just love splits. So probably like my wall splits or my um, mm -hmm. like overextended like needle where I put like one hand on the ground, like the oh. 270. I think that's my favorite. How did you? Like I've never thought of trying to do a wall split. How did that happen? I don't remember. I've been doing them for years. I think I just did it. Like I don't oh know. God. It could have been a mistake. Oh. I'm not sure. Cool. All right, we're gonna do straight leg forward. So I know you started off with like not being able to do a split in the beginning, yeah. and then you got it like within like less than a year. And then how long did it take you to get into like your 270 split? I honestly can't remember. I want to say like a year or two. Like it wasn't wow. instantly. Like for the full 270, because the 270 like it's kind of more advanced. I, wow. I'm not a hundred percent sure. So. Yeah. All right, and then uh, you want to try to do like an arms up, and then you can go here into an arch and grab your leg. Yeah. Oh, I'm cramped now. This is how I know I'm old. <laughs> I never got cramps. It's crampy. <laughs> <laughs> Next one I don't usually do uh, with guests, but obviously this is way too easy. <laughs> so we're gonna grab, we're gonna do doubles. This chair is like our both of our like hip level. I know. This chair. is like a very tall chair. Yeah. We're, we're definitely super tall too. Oh, we're yeah. like seven we're foot tall. Feet, yeah. yeah. I'm seven foot tall. <laughs> <laughs> I have a joke going on that I'm like seven foot tall, D1 really? athlete, 200 pounds. <laughs> so you just do knee here and then feet here. And then I stretch like this or like this. Basically, what my mother made me do, I don't know if I can still do it, but okay. she'll make us do these oh, wow. ones. Oh my god. Well, that looks fun. I want to try that. Sports? I'm sure it's way more difficult than it looks. <laughs> But you can try. Oh my gosh. Are you sitting? Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. So so after looking at my um that was my good leg, by the way. Do you think I can get a 270 like you? Maybe if you like worked at it a lot. Like it was good. How long do you usually stretch your like over splits? So like I said, it's kind of more like a habit for me. So I don't like stretch for like, like a lot of people think I stretch for like hours on end, mm -hmm. but I kind of just do random stretches throughout the day. So I don't really take so. that much time to stretch, but mm -hmm. I still stretch every day because I just do it out of habit kind of Okay. Thing. So whenever I see a chair, I'll work on my oversplits. Yeah. Like, every day. Every day. So. Yes. Woo! All right. Let's try our other leg. So, oh my God. The difference between my right and left is really? very significant. Mine is as well, actually. There's quite a big difference. Oh. Is there more of like a pain for your right leg compared to your left? Or it just doesn't go difference? as far. Doesn't go as far. It's like it's not really painful, but like I can't do the 270 on my bad side. Mm. How far is your um, right leg? Uh, like this far. This far? Like as far as we're doing right now. Oh, okay. It might be. It's actually better than my right leg. <laughs> 
I'm very jealous. <laughs> I can't do, like, right leg I can stay for a long time. It's like okay. stretching, like feeling not too painful. Yeah. But my left side, I feel like pain. <laughs> Basically. And my knee is a little bit, like, messed up. Okay. So. How come? I think because for rhythmic gymnastics, like my hyperextended elbows. Oh, they're hyperextended. Yeah, knees. a lot of rhythmic gymnasts do have like hyperextended legs, I've noticed. Yeah. yeah. So I didn't naturally have hyperextended knees. I, I did have my elbows. Okay. But yes, my dad sat on my knees. <laughs> and it was like every night, right? Really? Yeah, to like make my knees hyperextended. And he was like leaning more on my left side. So I think that made like my left a little bit more extended. And then that kind of led to like my knee okay. hurting a little. So did your parents stretch you often? Yes. <laughs> really? I've never had yes. like, like I always just stretched on my own. Mm, yeah, I think for rhythmic, I don't know nowadays, but yeah. back in the day when like coaches could like actually push hard on you. Yeah. Like I'd have, I'd have, I did those over splits, doubles. I'd have my mom sitting on one side of yeah. my leg and then another oh, wow. person sitting on my other side. I had to have them have my arms up. I was crying. I was like six. That sounds horrible. <laughs> yep, it's not that great. No, it, was, it doesn't it sound really good. Crazy. I hope they don't do that anymore. Yeah, I think there's like new like regulations That's now. good. Yeah, I but, feel like there's better ways to get flexible. It might just take yeah. a little longer. Yeah, no, yeah. no, the other way is better to like, you know, slow slowly. Slowly, yeah, that's definitely better than have someone yeah. like putting all their pressure on. Yeah, no, I think slow and steady also like leads you to like be able to go down like even more yeah sure, rather yeah. than like having a one-time boink mm -hmm, yeah how did how did you like push yourself down back when you were trying to get just like over time like i never really did it to like a point that it was painful i just kind mm. of improved over time i got my splits and then i just kind of kept working up to like higher over splits mm. do you like Cause for me, I like start like up here, okay, and then I'll like kind of like slowly drag myself down and then stay there for a bit until I get. Yeah, back. I never get to the point that I can't like not mm -hmm. take it anymore. Like I kind of go before then, cause I don't like I don't know. Oh, interesting. I don't like to go to the point that it's painful. Like this, like I don't feel this. Mm. Woo! Woo! <laughs> All right, we're gonna do the other side. Okay. With knee, and yeah, ninety degree knee like bent forward. I, I was watching your video where you didn't stretch for a week. Did you really lose your flexibility? Yeah, so like I was pretty stiff that day. Mm -hmm. Um, but like I did get it back. Like I just needed to stretch a bit because at the mm -hmm. end result, like I hadn't stretched mm -hmm. like beforehand. Like I just tried it. It's not like I couldn't do a split. It was just like oh, not all the way to the seventy. Group. Yeah. Split. I, I did not believe it in the beginning. I was like, I need to ask her. <laughs> I need to ask her. Okay, guys, this is my bad side, so we will see. Oh, uh, y'all need to bring it forward. Yeah. Here we go. Good. Yeah, like here. I think this is. We're gonna compare it with my right side. Yeah, this is my bad side, so like it's not very good. I don't really like doing this side. <laughs> <laughs> like the other side, like I don't feel, and this one, like I can kind of feel it, like right mm. here. No, some people are like, call it the right leg and the left leg. <laughs> but I'm like, bro, it's like a good leg. I have a good yeah, leg. Yeah, like my other leg's concept. way better than this leg, like, like you saw. <laughs> it's not supposed to be like a bad thing. Yeah. You know, it's not in a bad cottage. It's just a, not a greater leg. It's just a little worse than the other leg. Exactly. I just need to work on the bad leg. <laughs> you know? You feel me, bro? Nice. <laughs> now we can get into more of the equipment side. Okay, cool. Because now stretching is done. Yeah, I feel pretty stretched out. How about you? Yeah, I'm pretty stretched out. Pretty I can, stretched. I can, I can do so. I can do my 270 right now. Ta da! I yeah, think this like, is like a you're in an over split, so like pretty good. Thank you. All right. I, I feel like my my bad legs here. I'll Let's try. try. Yeah, try both. Okay, so this is my right. So this is my good side. Mm-hmm. So that's like good leg. Uh huh. Like that. And then bad leg. I haven't really done this on my bad leg recently. Oh wow. Like. Oh. I'd say that's my bad leg. Oh. Is there a technique into doing it? Grabbing more of the knees. Yeah, like I grab my leg. I guess you can grab here too. And then yeah, you can go like that. And then it's like you can grab your foot like this oh, leg. Look at this I dude. I usually grab my foot. Uh huh. Because then you can kind of point your. And I usually bend it like this, and then I like straighten it like <laughs> that. Yeah, I, I think I'm getting that. 
You're close, yeah. yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. One of the best I've seen. <laughs> I'll get there. Like, honestly, I don't think day. I've seen anyone like go further than that, so that was good. Thank you. <laughs> so this, basically, like a little bit diagonally front to make it easier. Yeah. <laughs> I just hit myself in the so, face. So if you keep your face here, you're going to smack your face. Yeah, I, so I kind of realize like that. Lean back a little with your head. Okay. So in the beginning, you want to just do half. Kind of have your um, hand, here, right? hand here ready to catch the ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I appreciate your like skill with this now, trying it. It's so much harder than it looks. Yeah, it takes a lot. Like even teaching this, like it, it, it's literally like you have to kind of. Oh, oh I really almost close. did it! I almost did it. Close. I wanted to ask, like, if you didn't do cheer, like, what other sport do you think you would have done? That's hard. Maybe gymnastics. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But I just, I don't know. I started cheer and I really liked it. So that's yeah. Cool. I mean, obviously contortion. But that's, I don't know if that's like. I think it should be a sport, but I don't think that's really considered a sport. Mm -hmm. It's more kind of like. How it dance. Yeah, it's more like space. a performance yeah. kind of thing. I don't know. <laughs> Did you like know about rhythmic gymnastics before or is it like not really known in Canada? No, so I did know about it because that is another thing that got me started with in contortion. Mm -hmm. I would like watch rhythmic gymnastics mm -hmm. on like Instagram and YouTube. So that kind of inspired me to like get flexible but there's no rhythmic gymnastics like gyms mm, where okay. i grew up there is in canada just not the little town where oh, i grew up okay so there probably there definitely is in like toronto and the big cities in canada mm -hmm. but not where i'm from <laughs> like if you say rhythmic gymnastics do people like know about it or is it like america where like they'll be like oh tumbling oh it's the same as usa mm. for sure like it's Canada and USA for that kind of stuff, I feel like are pretty similar. Mm. Yeah. I'm so sad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would say it's like the same for both. But I'm happy you knew about rhythmic. So we do a lot of also like tosses and catches. Okay. So this is like a simpler one. Okay. So we're gonna toss and they're gonna just catch behind. So you kinda ha wanna have a straight back okay. and kinda have it in the corner of your arm. Mm -hmm. Yes! You guys try at home, but don't don't break anything like like I do. Yeah, and also like these are kind of like rubbery balls. I don't these are not bowling balls. Yeah, don't try it with a bowling ball. I feel like that would not go well. So these funny. are pretty light. They like always think it's a bowling ball, and I'm like, girl, if if this was a bowling ball, I'd I'd be like smash on. I would be a smash potato on the floor. How did you start YouTube? So I started YouTube because I was already posting like flexibility pictures on Instagram just because I loved mm -hmm. making the videos and like taking photos and then I'd get a lot of comments asking how I did the flexibility poses mm. so that's kind of what got me into making tutorials on mm. YouTube because you couldn't make long videos on Instagram at the time so mm. I'd make them on YouTube and that's kind of how I got into it. When did you start YouTube? Quite a while ago I wasn't very consistent when I first started mm -hmm. I would just post like when I had the time like I was in school and stuff obviously mm -hmm. but I think Probably around six years ago or so, oh, wow. yeah. But like, I, it was all very like short three minute videos. And, and did stuff. you like edit that all by yourself? Yeah, I've like, always edited wow. all my videos myself. Wow. Yeah. That's a lot of work. Yeah, it is, it is, but I enjoy it. Oh, that's good, that's good. We're gonna try a thing where you can. Rebound. I wanna try that, okay. So you kind of have like this here, and okay. then you kind of let go a little bit. You kind of let go. Yeah, I think, it, I I think is that it? One try. Okay. Yes! That one! That, I like that one! Let's try that with um, your needle and then it will be counted. Really? Yeah. Okay, let's try it. <laughs> there we go. Yes. I did something! Yes! Hey! It's kind of harder when you're doing the leg hold. Yeah, you have to do two things at once. Oh, there you go! I think that was nice. it. Is that close? That was it. No, that okay, was it. That cool. was it. So my last question for the day. So what are your goals now? Well, I've been working really hard on my YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. So a big goal of mine is to reach 10 million subscribers. So that's yes. like a good like yes. hopefully upcoming goal. You never know, but this year. <laughs> yeah. We make it. So that's like a big goal for me mm -hmm. right now. That's really Do you have cool. any big goals right my now? My big goals? I just hit one million, but mainly yeah. from shorts. So I'm like trying to do more of these like long form yeah. stuff. Well this one we did today yeah. was really fun. So if you guys want to see more of these from Elena, let yeah. us know in the comments. Yeah. I know y'all love Anna. Y'all been asking me to have <laughs> Anna here. So I know y'all subscribe, but if you aren't, you better. I'll be on there too. 
thank you Anna for joining us on our episode of Open Up today and don't forget to subscribe to both of us and we'll see you next time. <laughs>